Well, experts say the death rates for men and women with colorectal cancer has been steadily declining over the past 20 years. They tell us that's partly because of advances in detection and treatment. Dr. Supna Parikh here now with one test that looks at your DNA. Supna. Well, you may have heard of DNA testing for breast cancer, looking for that BRCA mutation. Well, genetic testing is also advancing for colon cancer. And the man you're about to meet is proof that research and early detection is so important. To hear those words was definitely shocking to me. Frank Garitano never thought he'd be diagnosed with colon cancer, let alone at the age of 40. A marathon runner and restaurant owner in Orangeburg, New York, Frank got the diagnosis just days after celebrating his daughter Isabella's first birthday. Physically, I felt great. Um, you know, I was running like 30 miles a week. Colon cancer can affect anyone. That's why a colonoscopy is recommended for everyone over 50. But scientists are getting better at figuring out who may be most at risk. This work is all about who is at risk before age 50, who needs to be screened earlier and perhaps more often. Dr. Thomas Weber, a surgical oncologist at SUNY Downstate, says that by working with researchers around the world, they've discovered genetic mutations or clues in the DNA. It helps us understand which, which of these deserve the most attention in trying to interpret how really dangerous they are. So it's not black and white. Just because you have the genetic mutations doesn't mean you'll get colon cancer. But with more research, it's becoming more and more targeted. Dr. Weber says if you have the most concerning genetic changes known to date, your lifetime risk of colon cancer is up to 80%. So if you have a strong family history of colon cancer, ask your doctor to see a genetic counselor to see if genetic testing is worth it for you. Frank learned he has one DNA mutation and hopes this information will help his family get screened earlier. After a year of surgeries and chemotherapy, he says he takes nothing for granted. The fact that we're all sitting here together it means everything's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so he's spending time with his family and he's also running again and this weekend he'll join thousands of other runners and walkers in Central Park for the ninth annual New York Colon Cancer Challenge. It's on Sunday April 1st. All the fun starts at 9 a.m. So far they've raised almost half a million dollars for colon cancer research. WABC is the proud media sponsor of that event. Wow. So that ev it's actually full the events I got to tell you but the you can still go cheer them on. There's a festival all morning with activities and entertainment and you can still donate. Yeah, so get up there and go to the a counselor? I didn't even know those things existed. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. It's what, they're such a great resource. You ask your doctor, they'll refer you to a genetic counselor, whether it's for breast cancer, colon mm. cancer. They'll, they'll tell you the pros and cons, too. Mm -hmm. All right. So thank you. Yep. Thanks, Stephanie. I'm sorry, but Isabella just stole the show. So cute. So I know. cute, Isabella. <laughs>